Do you feel like every step you're stepping to a hot frying pan? Well, you've probably developed plantar fascia. It's one of the most common things I see in the clinic. When I have this complaint, I have my patients take off their socks and shoes, have them lay on the table or sit off the table and see it with how their feet land naturally. And most often I see this. So what is that position? Because that's a non-natural position. You've got a plantar flexed foot and an extended toe. And why does this develop? Well, you tend to get sort of a stiffness of these extensor muscles, a stiffness in the calf, and then you get the plantar fascia down here, which is kind of being held on tension over time. So it's kind of overstretched in a sense. And then you got these, uh, these flexor muscles of the big toe. By the way, this is all one system, right? The calf turns into the plantar fascia, turns into the big toe flexors. We just give different names in different locations. So over here, you got, uh, you got tight for stiff, right? Tight and stiff over here. Plantar fascia is painful. And then you got some weakness in the toe flexors. Why does this position occur? Well, I think it's the shoes, right? So this is your typical sort of performance sports shoe, right? It's really a fashion shoe, to be honest. You've got an elevated heel, a toe spring, so that the toes literally come up off the ground, and you've got a narrow toe box. So looking from the top down, a narrow toe box looks like this, which makes your big toe come inward, so not splayed the way it should be. And that tends to ride under your second toe, and then you get bunion development, by the way. So that's why I, and I, this is gonna be controversial, love flip-flops, okay? So from this angle, you do have a slight elevation here. If I was the designer of the shoe, I'd make it flat across, but it's pretty negligible, all right? From here, you've got this spacer between your big toe and this toe, so this does not develop. On top of all that, you have to press down to keep the flip-flop on, so you're now strengthening that, that weakness in the, the flexor hallucis longus. And the toes get to splay out because they're open. Uh, and guys, by the way, if you're wearing a shoe with an elevated heel, well, you might as well be wearing high heels. It's the same thing.